Hey, Yuito. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intrigued. You look like Chief Cut. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the Chief anyway. Hmm. I think I have a better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? Oh, there you are, Yuito. Do you want to head to Seiron? I promised I would teach you how to have fun. I said it before, but not really. Oh, come on now. Don't be so modest. Let's go. I'll be waiting for you in town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So, I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next up, karaoke. What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you'd drag me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon? And living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. <sighs> okay. He dodged the question. 
it's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are. Kuito, you working hard today too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. That's good. Keep it up then. How was that? You got a thing for me yet? I don't really get you, but I guess in a way you are intriguing. Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here! Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. But maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. I've got good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Come on! Here we go! Come on! Here we go! Huh? I'm taking 
taking your fire! Watch out for electric. Here we go. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Yeah! It's over! That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patients. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag, but why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it, I guess we're doing this. Do it, Yuito! You're using my power, Yuito. You're free to use it. Shell breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. Hanabi, let's go! Now! I'm using this, Shiden. Well done! I'll leave it to you. Good timing. This is pretty rare. If your body begins to burn with fire, it will drain your health, so be careful. If it's covered in oil, it should burn with a little fire. Seems like I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. 
Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gemma? He knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <sighs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us, and then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. 
could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician, though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone? There's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. Kagura wants to talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. Where's Kagura? I guess I'll check up top.
Yeah.